Oh, come on, my website's been hacked. At some point in our lives, we've all experienced a malware attack. It's where someone out there that you don't know, a third party, has exploited a vulnerability in your website, or maybe they've just found a way to hack into it, and they've injected things that kind of make your website play havoc. You could lose sales, leads, trust, your credentials could suffer as well. Your website could be down for days or weeks on end. Now, I want to talk to you about a solution that you can use for free. Now, this solution, there is a premium version, but I want to show you what you can do for free right now. If you go to malcare.com, you're going to find out loads of details of how to make your WordPress website so much more secure. But don't worry, there is a free plugin that you can install as well. But if you want to find out a little bit more about how you can help your website out, maybe you've been blacklisted by Google or you've been suspended or like I said, someone has exploited a vulnerability, you're really going to want to get it all sorted out. And if you want to do that, this plugin is massively going to help you out. I've been using it. I've even been advising it to people as well in recent forums that say, hey, my website just wasn't working and the language was all over the place and I wasn't happy. I think you get the picture, right? Maybe your website is already suffering from some malware. You know, you've got problems on it. This plugin is going to help you out, but I would strongly recommend you get it installed now. Don't wait until you have the problem. Let's have a look at what you get for free and what's in the premium option. By the way, the link is to the WordPress page and their website. It's not an affiliate link. There's no secret little code in there or anything like that. So I'm being very, very transparent with why I do recommend using this solution. Here's a side by side comparison. And a lot of what you would get in the premium version, you get for free. Login protection, real-time firewall, vulnerability monitoring, daily malware scan, uptime monitoring. There's a lot here for you. But if you wanted a little bit more like bot protection, and I will show you that when we run the scan, if you wanted a bit more, you are having to go for premium. But just from the get-go, right now, after watching this, go and get Malcare. Okay, let's go and install it. Step one is that you could sign up. So after creating an account, you can then go and connect your domain. But I think it is far simpler to go to your WordPress website, go to add new plugins and then search for Malcare. This is the one you want by Malcare Security. Go and install and activate. As soon as you do that, it's going to ask you to enter in your email address. Now, if you've already set up an account, you would drop it in. But if this is the first time you're installing it, go and add in your email address. This is basically going to be the one that connects to your Malcare account. And then instantly you're taken to this dashboard. This is what you would have seen if you'd gone to malcare.com, created your account, and then connected your website. I feel like doing it via the plugin gives me a bit more assurance that it is being done on that particular website. It's just the way I like to do things. Now, under the same account, you can have multiple websites. So if you run an agency and you manage loads of websites, this is going to work for you. Or if we flip it, you could be a client or a business and you may want to use it on multiple sites. And what it's doing is it is scanning the website, checking the firewall, the login protection, the malware. It's scanning. It's looking for any vulnerabilities. And when it is done that, we will actually see within our dashboard what had it checked for. Usually when a plugin has a vulnerability or a security aspect that needs to be patched or fixed, there will be an update by the plugin. But what this particular plugin does, it runs through and it double checks that has that actually been applied for your website and have you got the up to date plugin. So maybe you haven't updated your website in a while. There may be a vulnerability that is just waiting to be exposed. So this is going to check that for you. Just as a reminder, if you did want bot protection, if you did want to do some further cleaning and you wanted to maintain backups and have an activity log, you would have to get the premium version. But for free, this is telling me that my website is clean. There's no malicious files. There's no malicious scripts. The firewall is set up. It's looking pretty damn good. And as I scroll down, I can see lots of green ticks. Like I said, there are some crosses because we don't have the premium version installed. But hey, I'm pretty happy with what we've got right now. We've been hearing about firewall ever since the internet came around. But did you ever stop to think about, well, where are those attacks coming from? And if the firewall is working, I mean, did you even know if it was working? And what if I told you all of the attacks are coming from the United Kingdom and you're based in the United Kingdom? Wouldn't you want to go and investigate and find out why? And if we scroll down to firewall rules, remember I mentioned how there could be some vulnerabilities with the plugin. Maybe there was an issue a while ago. If you're keeping up to date with your plugins and you're updating vulnerabilities when they are exposed and you're making sure your website's in tip-top shape, this is probably already going to be covered for you. 
but isn't it good to be double sure? When we scroll down to bot protection, we're not being protected by bots. And if I was to say, well, I do want to be protected, you're going to have to go and upgrade your plan. Login protection, if you want to apply some hardening, you can do. But just bear in mind that if you start to apply hardening like this, it might stop you from installing or updating plugins. It might end up resetting all the passwords for all of your users. Maybe you've got some customers as well. So just bear that in mind before you go and say, I'm going to enable everything. Just have a think about your particular business and the needs or use of your website. If I click on site, I can see my website. This is a test website, which is why it's probably very, very clean. It tells me that all my plugins are up to date. My themes up to date. My WordPress core is up to date, or I could just hit all as well. And it also informs me that the last time the scan was done, the website was clean. You'll notice a little notification that's going to repeat it for you. So for free, you could install this. It's going to check your website and it will then perform some cleaning if it required. But what if I had another website where there was some malware on there? Let me show you. This is another test website. And on the face of it, everything kind of looks okay. There's no funny script showing. You might look at it and go, this is exactly how I built it. By the way, this is a test website. It's not exactly how I built it. But when you look at it, there's nothing on here that's going to make you go, well, I don't see anything funny. Therefore, my website is OK. But if it's been injected with something or a vulnerability has been exploited, you might not realize it, that it might be collecting or harvesting information about you, your business, your sales or your customer information as well. And you don't want to get caught out by that. So let's go and run this through Malcare. And this is what we get. The website has been hacked. There is a malicious file and there is a malicious script. On the front end, it looked OK. And if I logged into the back end, it would still have looked OK. But when you run it through Malcare, there is a problem. Do you remember what it was like in the old days? You would get an email or you would go to visit your website and you got the red screen of death or you got told you've been blacklisted and that was kind of it. And then you start to panic and you contact your host and they go, well, have you got a backup? And even with a backup, things just don't reverse engineer themselves back to utopia. And you are now panicking. Thankfully, we have a green button over here that says clean all malware. But before we click it, let's investigate a little bit more. What are we going to find out from this dashboard? The cortex layer or the brains has told me that we have one hacked file and one hacked script. And it also tells me that one of my plugins is out of date. So before we hit the green button, let's review the malware and infected file sits over there. I mean, you could, if you want go over and try and delete it and fix it yourself. But how many of you are a little bit worried when you have to start messing around with a bit of PHP or theme editing? And what about this script? Let's view that. Oh, OK, right. You know, hey, if you want to copy this and use it in your own website, be my guest. Or maybe you recognize it and it's not malware. Maybe you are using some code pen or some other solution or someone gave you some script and it was tried and tested. So you might want to go, no, this is not malware. So again, it's kind of nice to know you get to review what it's highlighting as an infection. Let's now click the green button. Instantly, it starts to do the cleanup. So pre-cleanup checks completed. It even allows me to reset the password. Like the options appeared there. So if I go to edit, Maybe I want to do it for all of them. Maybe I've got a customer or maybe I say don't do it for admin. I mean, I would probably say it's not a bad idea to do all of them. So let's just go and hit OK. That actually only took 20 seconds. So it was far quicker than expected. So we can now view the report. It gives me a summary, which again, you might be a little bit afraid of, but it's summarizing. You know, when we did the review of the malware, it's now telling us what it did. So you could copy and paste that. When we go to the dashboard, we get a summary of when the hack first occurred and the fact that it's now been cleaned and everything is OK. We are fine. And when you try to log into your website, it's going to fail because remember, we reset all the passwords. So you'd have to go to lost your password. Hopefully your email account's not been hacked as well. Double check and make sure that's all OK. That's why you got to be a little bit careful. Are you going to reset the passwords for the admin as well? If you've been malware attacked, I probably would say you definitely do want to do that and check with your host provider if you have any issues too. But go and hit lost your password, reset your password and you go back into your site. So if you're serious about protecting your website and your client's website and your business website, then I would strongly recommend you go and have a look at the Malcare plugin. You can get it for free. You can start protecting yourself right now. Hey, I'm Imran Web Squadron. See you soon.